Well, we are sitting here at the RV park in North Dakota somewhere. Where are we, baby? Dickinson. Dickinson, North Dakota. And we did a really good job, like, getting the kids up and them helping us out and getting all ready to go, right? Yep. Doing lots of stuff. And then what happened? Got a flat tire. Flat tire. Almost flat tire. Tire that's going flat. Check it out. Yeah. So... We were just about ready to roll out. Papa Bear did his walk around and noticed that, sure enough, we got a tire going flat. He thinks there's a nail in it. These are very new tires, if you remember, so it'll be under warranty and we'll get it replaced. But we only have one spare, so we have to make sure that nothing happens to another one today. And he's going through the whole same process of changing a tire on the RV again, which is not the easiest thing. And, um,. We'll have to keep an eye out for a discount tire either on our travels or when we get to Wisconsin, but it sucks. It's going to put us behind a little bit. Today is supposed to be like really super hot, so we're trying to get where we're going as early as possible. It's going to be like 100 degrees with heat warnings and stuff. Um, as soon as it gets in the high 80s, we'll have to bring the cat into the truck. And even yesterday, it wasn't as hot. It was like high 80s yesterday and all of our pantry food got pretty warm our coconut oil melted so today it's going to be even worse so we want to stop as early as possible and put on the ac and kind of cool everything down so we were trying to get on the road before seven but it looks like now it'll be a little later but papa bear has got this down now because he knows what to do now right honey <laughs> so hopefully we'll be on the road soon and we'll come at you in the car with a vlog with all four of us. Bye! How does Papa Bear feel about this? It's a pain in the butt. But I'm glad we caught it now. Instead of on the road. Instead of on the road. Alright, we have got our spare tire on. They're getting the afflicted tire back onto our spare tire carrier we didn't find anything in it like a nail or anything so they'll have to do a test to find where the leak is but hopefully we can safely make it to Wisconsin on our spare otherwise we'll have to be finding a discount tire ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking once again thank you for flying spot the Scots Airlines if you look out your right window, you will notice the wonderful North Dakota countryside. And a uh, little side note, we have just changed into the central time zone. So it is now 829. Oh, no, correction. 929. Once again, thank you for flying. It's about Scott's Airlines. And if you need anything, don't be afraid to, play, to press your stewardess button. Thank you. Who's the stewardess? Evil cows! Gracie. <laughs> Evil cows. Evil cows. So we lost an hour changing the tire. Yep. And, and now we lost, we lost another an hour. hour. <laughs> we just can't win. We're trying so hard because we ended so late yesterday, even though we have no idea why. Yeah. And we were in the car, but in seats at 6.45 a.m. But we didn't leave until almost 8. I just had to do my walk around. You just had to change a tire. I had to do the walk around and find a flat tire. And now we had to cross into the central time zone. Good job, Brian. So we've been on the road all <laughs> of uh, less than an hour. About an hour. <laughs> and uh, we've lost two. <laughs> we're, we're good at this game. It's like we haven't left at all. <laughs> we're going back in time. Yeah. So we're going to do our best, though. Um, the kids are being good sports. Says the dog. Maybe. <laughs> Racy is hating life right now, I think. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, and the dog. She's, she's chilling. She's good. So we'll see what we can get done today. We just really don't want to stop at 6 p.m. again. Yeah. Because there's no time. Like, by the time we took care of some stuff with the dog and the truck and did laundry and took showers and had dinner. It's pretty much bedtime. Yes. So there's no like chill and downtime and everybody gets pretty exhausted that way. Yeah. And we don't know what happened because we went about the same mileage that we usually do, but something happened. We don't know what. I don't know. We didn't lose any time zone hours. We didn't take any super long breaks. I guess the time weasel got us. <laughs> yeah, something like that. 
So hopefully today will be better. And thank you guys for coming along. Talk to you later. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Do it again. Look, Mom. A hill cow. <laughs> That's a huge cow. And I know they're not real. Or maybe it's a cow hill. Is that the biggest cow you've ever seen? Yes, I think it is. That, that is the biggest cow I have seriously ever seen. I'm gonna name it Moo. Moo Moo. I'm gonna name it Moo. Moo the gigantic cow. Maybe milk comes out of its gigantic nipples. <laughs> at least been entertaining. I wouldn't be a part of this. This is a y'all people suck. I'm trying to sleep here. <laughs> I wonder how long this will go on. <laughs> <laughs> hey back there kids! Hello! Racy's invisible. There she is! So we are finally about 20 minutes away from our destination and guess what? It's going to be 6 o'clock again pretty much. Uh -huh. um, I don't understand it but we did have the tire issue this morning. Mm -hmm. We also lost an hour and what we, else? We had to stop for fuel. We stopped, had to fill up the, the big tank. Yep, it always takes about half hour to fill up the big tank. Yeah. And then we also had to stop at Walmart real quick to grab more water and more bread. Other than that, I don't understand Because that's all we feed the children is bread and water. <laughs> yep. It's just the two things that we're already out of. It's all they we want. We give them apparently. gruel in the morning. <laughs> um, but we're almost there, which is really exciting. We're passing lots and lots of cornfields. It's pretty much what we've been looking at for quite some time. And uh, however, when we stopped for, was that lunch? when we stopped at the rust area? Yes. When we went to put the slides back in, the living room slide made some pretty ridiculous pretty noises. Pretty obnoxious noises. So we're a little bit concerned as to whether it's gonna go back out when we stop. So we shall see. I'm a little nervous about that. Cause it's gonna be kind of late in the day. So we'll let you know what happens it's, with that. It's scary. It really does sound broken. And that's kind of out of nowhere. When, when Racy put it out, it made a little noise, but not enough for me to be that super worried. But putting it back in, it was, it was bad. It sounded horrendous. Yeah, horrendous. So we will update you soon. We are staying in an RV park again tonight because it's gonna be really hot. Um, but then tomorrow is our last driving day. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh my God.